be caught up on some other big headlines from around the metro, starting in Cobb County, where this morning drivers are relieved to learn that a fire did not cause any structural damage to an overpass. It was a story we first brought you as breaking news yesterday morning after a tractor trailer crashed under the overpass on I-285 westbound outer loop at I-75. Fire crews worked to douse the big rig with water and put out the flames. This video was wild. That truck smoldering for hours and charring the concrete. A lot of drivers and officials worried the heat from the flames may have damaged parts of the road. After the fire was put out, Cobb County Fire and the Georgia Department of Transportation, they went out to inspect the pillars of the overpass and found damage to a column cover, but that does not hurt the structural integrity of the overpass. All lanes are now open and flowing. Today, we're expected to learn more about two recent death investigations in Atlanta. Atlanta police holding a press conference later on this morning, giving us some updates after they found a woman's body on the HOV on ramp to I-75 south from Pryor Street near the Gateway Center. That happened on Thursday. They say the woman was 46 years old and appears to be homeless. Detectives say they expect foul play. They also plan to share any new developments in an investigation from earlier this month. A man was found shot and killed the morning of December 11th off of Central Avenue, just south of downtown Atlanta. That press conference is set to start at 11. Right now, the Henry County Police Department is investigating the death of a teenager. He was found dead inside a vehicle Tuesday on Highway 42 North in Stockbridge. Officers tell us they think 16 year old Azariah Miller was shot during a robbery. One person was arrested for the murder and police expect to make more arrests soon.